Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Do you have lentils as a part of your long-term food storage? Well, you should. Lentils are a pulse. They're the seed of like beans and legumes, so they're in the bean family. Lentils are dried, they're inexpensive, they're versatile, they're packed with nutrition, and they're very easy to prepare. Lentils are a great food because they're packed with protein, but they also, see how they come in a little bag? This is a whole pound of lentils, and when you prepare it, it can become three times its size. Rice doubles in size when you prepare it, but lentils triple in size. Lentils are easier to cook than other beans because you don't need to soak them. You can add them into boiling liquid and they can cook in about 25 to 30 minutes. Lentils are also great because you can store them to last for 30 years. Because they take up less space, you can use some of your smaller jars and containers to store lentils. You may not want an entire bucket full of lentils, but maybe you will. If you're not familiar with them, you need to try them a few different ways and see if it's something you want to add to your long-term food storage stockpile and as part of your regular food meal rotation plans. Lentils are high in protein, they're high in fiber, iron, and nutrients. They have a nutty, earthy flavor. How do you know if lentils are spoiled? They give an off odor, an off flavor, and the appearance doesn't look right. They might appear to be moldy. That's why it's important to store all of your long-term food storage in a cool, dark, dry place. Store foods the very best way that you can in airtight containers. You can store them just in an empty jar, put on a tight sealing lid. You can vacuum seal your jars. You can add oxygen absorbers. You can store them in Mylar bags or even into five gallon buckets. There's no one right way to store foods for long term. There are many ways to do it. Some of course are better than others. And just putting a bag of lentils into your pantry is not going to help them last the longest. So the more airtight that you can store them, and the better the storage conditions, the longer they're going to last. What's the easiest way to prepare lentils? Put on three cups of water to boil, add one cup of lentils, and allow it to cook for 25 to 30 minutes. Any recipe that uses ground beef, you can try adding a cup of cooked lentils instead of the ground beef. You can make lentil sloppy joes with your prepared lentils you can even do something as simple as add a can of manwich sauce that you have in your pantry. Or if you have a favorite recipe for sloppy joe sauce, go ahead and make that. Use some of your prepared lentils to make your favorite chili recipe. Here's an easy recipe for how I like to make lentil curry. You need one tablespoon of oil, one tablespoon of curry powder, one half teaspoon of onion powder, one cup of lentils, three cups of water, one teaspoon of honey, and one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. One tablespoon of oil, add a tablespoon of curry, and half a teaspoon of onion. Stir it around for a minute. Add three cups of water. Add one cup of lentils. Bring it to a boil. Put on the lid and turn it down to simmer for 20 to 25 minutes. Lentil curry is great with rice, so if you would like to serve it with rice, put on a pot of rice to cook at the same time. It's been about 25 minutes. The lentils are tender. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of balsamic and one teaspoon of honey. And it's ready to serve. I have a scoop of rice and a scoop of lentil curry. Mmm. Doesn't that look delicious? This would be great if you had a little sour cream. Maybe some freshly chopped tomatoes would make this extra delicious. If you're looking for a super basic way to make curry out of your food storage, take a can of chicken broth Cook a half a cup of lentils in it for 15 minutes. Add a tablespoon of curry powder and cook it until the lentils are to the consistency that you like. It's not going to be the best curry you ever had, but it might just be enough 
to help keep you full and ready to go out of your food storage pantry. If you have rice, make a pot of rice to go with this simple recipe. There are many recipes to make lentils with sausages, vegetables, soups, and stews. Lentils are a great food to have in your long-term food storage pantry. If you have an easy recipe for how to use lentils, leave it in the comments below and help us all learn how to stretch our food storage dollars and make more complete and interesting meals out of the foods that we have in our stockpile. If you liked my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else who might enjoy it. Learn more at alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.